Hey folks, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're here in camp, ready to start our long rest. Uh, tomorrow we're going to head out with Carlock, Shadowheart, and Asterion, but I've got Gale in the party so we can run around and put Longstrider on everybody. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen when we sleep. Sometimes there are events at night, so let's find out. Okay, everybody's rested and refreshed. So, let's start by having uh, Gale here put some long strider on everybody. Let's hit Tava. Here's a Starion. Is that in here? It's right there, okay. Uh, let's hit Will. Let's hit Shadow Heart. And then we also need to find Carlock and pop one on her. Where is she at? Not in here. Where's Carlock? Is she over here? That's Withers. Uh, where is my barbarian friend? Uh, she's down here. Okay. So we'll wrap up with a long strider on her. Okay, we're done with him. Let's have Tava kick him out of the party and get a Starion in. Need our rogue to pick locks and whatnot. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision. I'll be here. In okay, let's get a Starion. Need something? Okay, party's set. Uh, other prep work we can do early in the morning is we can have Shadow Heart cast Warding Bond on Tava. I'll take this way. This will help. Okay, and then we have some items that let us cast spells for free, right? Uh, what does she have? Her underwear. She can speak with dead for free, right? So let's cast that. I think that's how that works. Um, how does this, how do we do this? I don't actually know how we, uh, let's see. That says a ritual. All right, so can we only cast it on ourselves or can we cast it on Tava? There's no target, yeah, we can only Oh, we have to cast it on a corpse. Right, okay. Does she have anything else? Ensnaring strike and the thing. Missile snaring. She hasn't really used that. Tava's more likely to use that, but... Okay, uh, what about you? Do you have anything good? Intellect. When she channels an oath. If she dashes, she gets lightning charges. <laughs> Death saving throws, throwing boost. Hmm, throw damage, she gets a benefit. I think we should send this to Shadowheart, actually. She's the only one who really has stuff to throw. Let's have her put that ring on. Okay. Then Carlock, you've got the Bracers of Defense, the Haste Helm, and Movement Speed Plus, and then a Starion. What do you have? Superior Padding, Absolute's Bane, Frantic Urgency, and the Ever-Seeing Eye. He can cast... Protection from evil and good, but we don't really need to. Okay. So, the next thing we need to do is head out, and we need to unload some stuff, because we're carrying... We're getting close to our overburden here. And she has a ton of stuff to sell. Uh, in terms of elixirs, what do we have for the day? Fire resistance, hill giant strength, poison resistance, and vigilance? Let's just filter and see what we have here. So we have two fire resists, hill giant strength and strength 21. That would be good for Tava, but it'd probably be better for Carlock. Poison resistance and vigilance plus five bonus to initiative. Hmm. Who do we want to give that to if we're going to use this? 
I don't know. I never know when to use these things. Do I save them for later or do I use them now, you know? We can make a couple of them. We can make, like, poison resistance. Uh, maybe that's a good one. Or fire resistance? She's going to be in melee, so people might be hitting her with fire or poison. Well, we got two of these. Let's use one. Uh, do you have any elixirs? You have elixir of the Colossus. I don't think we want to use that. She has elixir of peerless focus. Advantage on concentration saves. Let's drink that. And then he doesn't have any. We could give him one. I do like that the filter we've put on here stays as I travel back and forth. Um... Who do we want to have? Well, I guess we're fine here. All right, let's head out. Saluna, as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Uh, I'm not sure what she's referring to, but not your usual haunt, I take it? Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. So this was a temple of Saluna, I guess? Is she not wearing her armor? She is, but it's not showing up for some reason. That's odd. Tarmor, ogle, tarmor ar, toggle armor set visibility. Okay, there we go. I don't know why she was on camp mode. Yeah, everybody looks good. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go back to the Druid Grove. Uh, one thing to note, let's see, which one is that? Emerald Grove Environs. One thing to note is that uh, apparently we've done enough, we've slaughtered enough of them, although we haven't completely cleared it, for the tieflings to be able to leave. We saw that on our, uh, that's done. We still have to rescue him. Hmm. Save the refugees. So saving the first druid is a sub-quest. But with the goblins defeated, the tieflings can safely return to the road. So we should look for Zevlor here. Uh, but mainly we're here to sell stuff. <laughs> so I think there I think there has to be another merchant in here. Besides just the one guy who might have different stuff for us to buy and might have more gold, depending on whether... Are you really the one to judge? Uh, this guy, like, we keep running through all his gold, and then he has nothing interesting for us to buy. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Oh, hey, thank you. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. Oh, he returned on his own. He's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Certainly, we'll see you there. Okay, so a lot happened there. I guess we don't have to actually save Halson ourselves. He managed to escape after we decimated the leadership. So we can go back and farm more experience by killing, doing more battles and clearing the place out if we want to. We need to get beneath, uh, beneath it anyway because we want to get that Night Song item. But a lot of stuff has been updated here. Halson has returned to the Grove. He should be able to help us with our Parasite now. We should go speak to him. Since he's here, we have to do this right away. Uh, yes. Okay. We met Mizora. She punished him, turned him into a devil. What else do we have going on? We still have to find the Night Song. Uh, it's... It still wants us to give this wand to Marina. Finish the Master or Weapon, search the cellar. We managed to read most of the book. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but the main thing is Halson's back, so we need to go find him. Uh, let's check in with these tieflings, though. That's it. We can head to the city. Don't know about you, but I'm ready to start my life again. Okay. Very well. Heldrell didn't want us, and those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you, 
You risked your life for us. Interesting. Actually, we should take a look at our reward here. What did we get? Uh, Wapira's crown. Crowning glory. When healing another, the wearer gains one to six hit points. Okay. That could actually be really good. Uh, we need the headband of intellect. That could be good for uh, Shadow Heart. What else do we have here? A bloodstone. Potion of healing. A bit of gold. And a hand axe. I mean, the hand axe isn't much, but we can add it to our wares. Uh, we can consolidate this up here. And then I guess we can sell this sack. And we can... Uh, move that up there and then consolidate that. Okay. Not bad. Now, Shadow Heart, are you going to wear this healing helm? I think you are. This is better than constitution saving throws, plus one. Yeah, let's equip this. We'll keep this in your backpack for now, though. Remember, find the river and follow it downstream. Just talking to all the kids. Uh, let's see. Who else can we chat with? I need to find, like, another merchant, so... We're gonna Fox. check in with a lot of these tieflings. Seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. <laughs> He's got like a bit of a nerves nerves about that. This would come right if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help too. Okay, all the. Uh... This is junk. Waste of effort hauling it with us. No, there's collectors in the city. They'll pay good coin for it, I swear. The kids here. But you're carrying it yourself. Maybe we can, uh, I think one of them was a merchant, right? You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. Uh, yes, I'm looking to trade. Always a deal to be done. Even now. Okay, we found, uh, we found somebody who can buy our stuff, maybe. Uh, discount 32%. I can't tell if that's good or bad. Um, but let's see. Let's sell our wares. There we go. Do we have any wares on anybody else? We've got some wares on you. What are you selling exactly? I don't see... The amethyst ring. Okay. So there's a few hundred gold. And then in terms of buying stuff... Uh, we definitely want this elixir of bloodlust. This will purchase. Buy. Where, why am I not, do I double click it? Okay, we'll take that. Elixir poison resistance, no. We don't need an arrow. Phantasmal killer. Haunt a creature with its worst nightmares. That would be good. Maybe to have, um, have our boy, uh, Gale learn it. But maybe we'll find a scroll of that. I don't think we need any of the rest of her stuff, so I guess we're okay here. We got rid of everything we needed to get rid of. Try not to die up there. Okay, so Maul has a better opinion of us now. Not in the clear yet. Keep sharp until we're standing on cobbles in Boulder's Gate. Uh, where? Where are we going to find this druid? Probably down in the grove, right? Um, if I look at Tava's inventory now, she's got a bit more space here. I wonder if there's things I should have sold that I didn't. Like, if we go by weight here. Okay. Got our camp supply sack. So, if I, like, send all this stuff... If I send all this stuff to camp, do, do I go down from 113? Oh, I do! Look, that was taking up so much of my weight. Okay, and then the hide armor plus two. Ambusher gain a plus one bonus to initiative rolls, gain a plus one bonus to deck saves and checks. Like, nobody really wears medium armor. She's got on heavy. I'd love to, she has on nothing. What's next? She has on... She has on medium armor. Oh, we can... Maybe we can give it to... Shadowheart here. Send a Shadowheart. Uh, let's have her equip this. Yeah, I can see plus one bonus to initiative rolls being good from her. So our AC doesn't change, but we get that bonus. 
Plus deck saves and checks. That's nice. Okay, so now we don't need this. We can sell it. Okay, that lightens our burden considerably. Oh, we need to sell this too. This turned out to be very, very bad for us. So let's add that to wares. Uh, Gail can't eat this, right? Yeah, okay. So I guess we'll come over here. Sell these last couple of items. Uh, send that to Tava. And then Tava. Check in with Aaron here. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Okay. Just glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. He's talking to the wrong one. Uh, let's trade with Tava. Or I guess I could have swat, swip, switched inside the so trade. So true. You scattered the goblins. As am I. Okay, I want to trade. Okay, so now we can sell our wares for another 134. Okay. And then if we sort by weight, is there anything I've missed? Uh, we can sell her Warhammer. Because she's using the magic Warhammer now, Faithbreaker. Um, we can send that... What do we have here? We do have some weapons, some magic weapons that we're not really using. Uh, a magic mace. I wonder if we should give this to... Shadowheart instead of the spear, but I'm not sure. Speedy reply. Uh, we got a helmet here. Let's sell that. I mean, she's got a ranged crossbow, so she's almost never using javelins. We can keep one. We need the shovel. Um, the rest of this stuff. Sell the diary. The rest of this stuff, not that heavy. We can sell the music box. What else? Potions, keychain. A lot of potions and scrolls. We don't need a lot of these. I need to keep the blueprints, I think. Um, all right, I think we're done here. And then he shouldn't have anything new to sell, I don't think. Uh, equipment. Magical. Yeah, we've seen a lot of this before. Uh, plus two ring mail. Rare heavy armor. Body aid. Strength saves and throws. I don't think that's better than what she's wearing. This is 17. And that's 16. 15, 15, 13. Uh, light armors we might consider. Leather armor plus one. And plus one to stealth checks. That's 12. What are you wearing? Padded armor plus one. What am I to do? She doesn't wear anything. Uh, let's see. A hand axe, some dyes, some arrows. I don't think we need much of this. Gail could learn some magic here. Conjure minor ele elemental. No, I think we're I think we're done here. Uh, so yeah, let's. How much gold do we have? Almost five thousand. Pretty good. We'll Make hold on to that. Balance. Now I do think. No there's another, there's another, there's got to be another merchant here somewhere. Somebody with more stuff. Because, like, there's only, we've only met Aaron, really. And the kid, but the kid doesn't have anything but trash. So, we'll look around. I guess, yeah, they've left. They All the tieflings have left. So, they're not here. Maybe there was another merchant down in this area who had some good stuff. But we didn't meet him. I would have looked at his wares and kind of tried to buy out whatever he had. Um, maybe he's among, among the tieflings, but I don't think so. I guess at this point we just go down to the grove now and look for Halson. Or maybe the druids have a merchant that I didn't meet. Could be, right? Look at all this stuff. I would love to be able to craft some more and better elixirs. Uh, oh, that reminds me, we got this bloodlust elixir. This was amazing on Carlock. Let's send it to her. We do have like a massive amount of potions and scrolls on Tava. I probably need to spend some time looking at that, but that's that's probably for off camera. Okay, any merchants down here? Who is this? Oh, here's Halson. Oh, and he's confronting Kaga. Oh, we gotta testify against her. She has to die. Let's get involved. You took it upon yourself. To undertake the right of thorns? 
to spill blood in this sacred place? It would have been easier if you just died, Korga. Now I have to hear your excuses instead. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence! The right has been ended. I was going to show leniency. But Korga, a child is dead because of you. I like this guy. The thief is dead. She stole the idol, befouled the grove. Enough! If anyone befouled this place, it is you. By sowing division, hatred, death. As for the idol, it's nothing compared to a life. A mere object next to one of nature's creations. You show no pity, no remorse. I cannot absolve you. Nature will determine your fate. Whatever happens to you next, know that it is the Oak Father's will. Now get out of my sight. There is nothing more to be said. Yikes. Apologies for that ugliness. A more bitter homecoming than I would have wished, but... At least the grove stands. Thanks to you. Hmm. I watched that child die because of her. She deserves far worse. Her punishment is only just beginning. Trust me. The grove stands. Nature prevails. I owe you my thanks. And an introduction. I am Halson, first druid of the Emerald Grove. And I sense you have a problem you seek my help with. Hmm. Just a moment, how did you arrive here? I was an unwilling guest of the goblins. But your efforts left them in disarray, and I was able to escape. Okay. Uh, my companions and I were infected by illithid parasites. I want your help removing it. It's true. I can feel it right now. Oh, Oak Father, preserve you, child. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm. I escaped from an Illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic. I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. At the goblin camp, I hoped to find a way to remove the tadpoles. I failed, but I did find the next best thing. I found out where they come from. I will do what I can to help you. Let us speak tomorrow. You and I both have matters to see to first. As for what you've done for the Grove, speak to Wrath. He will see to your reward. Hmm. Uh, we've thrown this part of our past away, so we won't say this. What happens next? The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Okay. Banished. Then banish me. When the coming army marches, there will be none left to protect you. Huh. Okay. So, bad news, good news. He knows something. Hopefully there's no, like, attack during the night that kills him, because we'd like to know what he's trying to tell us, but he's saying we have to wait for tomorrow. In the meantime, are any of these druids selling anything good? And or we also heard about a reward. Let's check in with the druids. 
Things are starting to calm down, thanks to you. We can finally get some rest. Okay. I also think, uh, as part of my Paladin's Oath, we probably need to uh, find Koga outside of the grove and uh, render her, you know, dead. Oh, there's the idol of Sylvanas. <laughs> I know you stopped the goblins, but I can't stop looking over my shoulder. It makes it hard to sleep at night. We couldn't speak to any of these people before because they were doing the ritual, right? Okay. Uh, what else do we have? We can take some mugwort, it looks like. Doesn't seem to have the steel marker on it. Who are you, Tahan? You think you saved us? You just prolonged the inevitable. Sooner or later, other outsiders will bring trouble to the grove. Hmm, okay. So this little uh, halfling, I think, doesn't like us. Was kind of like on Koga's side, I suppose. What is Sylvanas' blessing? Oh, I think if we step near this, this idol, we're getting some sort of blessing. Interesting. Uh, all right, Jorna, what do you have to say? I wasn't sure about you at first. Thought you might be trouble. I was very wrong. Okay. Most of them just have one sentence or so. Now, Carlock can cast Speak with Animals, right? She has an innate ability. Uh, she has two Legacy of Averning Smites as well. Those are nice. Where is... Dark times. Where is her Speak with Animals? Here it is. Okay. All right, let's have her... We can't cast it on uh, Tava, unfortunately, but let's check in with the oh. animals. I thought you were housing. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. Hmm. Okay. Gods will never let me. Uh, here's Apicusis. We're free of the goblins, but the grove is changed, wounded. The days ahead won't be easy. I'm glad we have Helsin to guide us. Why is she dressed like a soccer mom from the 90s? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright, where's this Wrath person? Oh, look at this. Look at this Topaz. She's, uh, picking up shiny stuff for her nest. The bear's asleep. Here's Carrick and Elwyn. We wasted so much time fighting each other. Sylvanas taught us a lesson by letting an outsider save us. Yeah, you're, you got, you're rocking that mascara, dude. Good for you. Let's take the dagger root. I guess we can take the alchemy plants because Sylvanas has provided them. They're not owned by one of the druids. Do you hear them? The birds. They're beautiful. I've thought of nothing but goblins and tieflings for so long. I stopped listening. Okay. Here's Mino. I hear the goblin leaders met their ends. Unfortunate for them, but very fortunate for the Grove. Yeah, okay. Where's this Wrath fella? We already speak to ALR? You look as tired as I feel. I guess so. Hold on. Can we see ALR, Inwe, Tahan, uh, Elwyn, Halson, Carrick, Minnow? He told us Wrath had a reward for us. There's Bosk. Um. I don't know where this Wrath person is. All the tieflings are up here, but they're not showing up on the map. Maybe we'll meet Wrath later? Not sure. Okay, so... I guess none of these guys are merchants. None of them have anything for sale. Which sucks. You sort of hope that, you know, somebody somewhere has some goodies. Maybe we need to go into one of these, uh, these stone doors. Here goes nothing. 
Maybe somebody's in here. Yeah, there's more of them in here. Okay. So, here's... Oh, there's Koga. Or Kaga. I kind of want her to leave and go out so we can deal with her. All right, here's Wrath. Okay. You've done it. You've brought House in back. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. Hmm. It was a hell full of blood and ash. To be expected. I'm glad you survived intact. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Oh, that seems pretty cool. Uh, are either of you merchants? You did this grove a great favor. And now leave the rest to us. Yeah, thanks, get out, right? <laughs> Uh, Pace is returning to the grove. Uh, we have you to thank for that. Yeah, plus I saved your life, right? Anybody in here, merchant? Oh, here's Nettie. Not sure we want to talk to her. This is the druid's chambers. And then here we go. I think we want to come in here, right? This is the library? Yeah, we're in the library. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. Huh. Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen and Hastily Written Note, Halson's Journal, Notes on Drought Parasite. Alright, let's read some of this stuff. Anatomical sketches of both a drow and an illithid tadpole are accompanied by notes written in an urgent scribble. The parasite was nestled deep in the brain matter, illithid undoubtedly, yet the host seemed unaware while alive. No visible signs of ceramorphosis, ceramorphosis, ceramorphosis on the cadaver, most strange. The final note is a single underlined world. word. Altered? I can't... I'm not reading right. Hastily written note. My dear Nettie, I entrust you with the circlet to open the library. Wear it always. If you need to enter the vault, talk to Wrath. He has the rune, but won't give it to anyone, so be sure you have good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gone and take care of the animals. Don't give fish to Tuffet, she's getting lazy. Master Halson. All right, and then we've got his journal. Extraordinary happenings. <clears throat> While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins led by a drow. We had no choice but to defend ourselves, but that is not the extraordinary, or rather disturbing, part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it and have the host's cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Kaga will demand answers I don't yet have. I'd better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. All right, so where's the actual uh, sample here? We can pick this up. It doesn't count as stealing. So we've taken that. In fact, we can take almost anything on here if we want, but we're, we're sort of okay for gold now. Um... Let's see. Rescue the Druid Halson. Uh, Halson said that we're in no immediate danger and that it answers are at Moonrise Towers. We can celebrate tonight and discuss a plan in the morning. All right. Wrath was grateful and pointed us to a hidden vault locked by runes in the Enclave Library. Uh, we do have a parasite, so let's take a look at that. I wanted to get down to Repulsor. Yeah. Let's get this. We're really embracing the uh, tadpole powers here. I think uh, <laughs> Starian's going to be pissed about it. Uh, empty socket, rune of the bear, rune of the elk. I guess we touch them all? And then put the rune of the wolf there? It's broken, but not too badly. Uh, empty socket, rune of the wolf.
Okay. When the wolf glows brightest? Huh. What did he say? Pointed us to a hidden vault locked by runes. Okay. Is this a puzzle? Well there we go. Okay. So here's our reward. Okay, and he said everything down here belongs to us, right? So we can just take whatever we want? Okay. Let's see. Secret Societies of the Sword Coast Exposed. All right. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so some of them are factions that we're familiar with, but we'll read this anyway. Harpers, the most well-known of the Sword Coast's cabals, perhaps, but certainly not benign in its shrouded doings. My sources claim that those belonging to this mysterious faction abhor power. But if that is so, why do they not expose the revelations of their inquiries for the public good? Why indeed? Because knowledge is power, and the Harpers intend to keep both for themselves. The Shadow Druids weigh the life of a man against that of a sapling oak. Which do you value more highly? Ask a Shadow Druid the selfsame question and be shocked by their answer. This dangerous group utterly disregards intelligent life in favor of the life of plants and insects. Their perversion of the natural order leads them to plan and execute plots so dastardly that the mere description of one would leave you glancing sideways at your begonias. The Order of Clerd, the least known and accordingly most dangerous of the secret societies I have researched, is the Order of Clerd. My sources tell me this shadowy conspiracy of murderers, mutilators, and tyrants regularly meet to plan the demise of any number of innocent citizens of our fair land. What's more, they like it. And the Dark Justitiers. I shudder even to describe their name upon the purity of this page. I shall leave it at this. They worship Shar. Mm, that's prejudiced. Okay, so we got an elixir of bark skin. Uh, let's see. Drink to increase your armor class to 16. Uh, we probably want that for maybe Gale or Will, maybe? Uh, and then a bunch of potions and animal speaking. We'll take all of those. In here, we've got protection from good and evil. False life. Gain seven temporary hit points. And animal friendship. Convince a beast not to attack you. Hmm. Okay. Um, Tava can take this. Seven temporary hit points, probably... Is this concentration? No. Seven temporary hit points? I mean, that's best on Carlock if we want to use it at all. I'll pick those up. In here we have poison resistance, serpent fang toxin, wyvern toxin, and antidote. Okay. We've got some vases. Empty. Empty. All of those are empty, all right? Uh, obviously, this we're going to save this for last. That looks really cool. Uh, we've got a wooden trunk over here. Okay, Robe of Summer grants resistance to cold damage, uncommon clothing. Okay, now this is either Gale or Carlock for now. Carlock's here. Let's get that equipped on her, I think. Don't burn yourself. Barbarian clothes or robes of summer. Okay. So it doesn't affect her AC and she gets resistance to cold damage. Interesting. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything in these vase? vases? No. All right. Probably not. What else do we have? Vases over here? No. Anything else? Just the note and sorrow, huh? Okay. All right, let's read the note. I'll give it a shot. The Emerald Enclave won't send help, even if I asked. This land is wounded and the rot is deep, but it's deep everywhere. I can't wait for help to come, but perhaps I need not face the darkness alone. And then we have sorrow here. A rare glaive, a two-handed weapon. Uh, let's see, she... 6 to 15 damage, plus 1 weapon enchantment. 
and Sorrowful Lash pulls the creature three meters closer to you, nine meter range, a cantrip. Interesting. So in terms of two-handed weapons, we'll pick that up, but we're not a we're not a user of those really. Let's send this over to Carlock and see if she wants to wear it instead of. Let's see. So it's less damage. Yeah, it's less damage, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't have a lot of two-handed weapon users. If we were going to have Tava swap out her shield, give up two AC to go for damage, she might use it. Um, but actually, we've got a couple of two-handed weapons here on Carlock. So we have six to 17, six, seven to 17, six to 15. We'd probably send... Yeah, we'd probably send the Maul plus one to Tava if we wanted to go two-handed damage on her. All right. Well, it's a shame we're not getting like, you know, plus two one, like plus two long swords or plus two warhammers or anything like that, but it is what it is. We got what we got. We can sell it if we need to. Let's head back up. And uh, at this point, we now have to kill some time for the rest of the day. So, uh, let's see. Halson said that the Illithid parasites have been altered by followers of the Absolute. If we want answers, we need to head to the cult's base at Moonrise Towers. But in the meantime, we want to find the Night Song. Hmm. Brian was killed. He had a map. Some kind of temple. Wizards bringing, offering a huge sum for anyone who brings it to him. So, okay, uh, we can't teleport here, I don't think. But we can go back to the goblin camp. So let's do that. Now, I don't think... Her patronage couldn't spare this place from goblins, clearly. <laughs> Shadowheart's a little salty <laughs> about Saloon's temple being taken over by the goblins. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? Um, yeah, well, you died. We haven't talked about that, but something strange happened. That artifact you carry, it seemed to just come to me. I know. I felt it. I didn't take it. I just suddenly had it. You wouldn't have been able to take it. The artifact has a will of its own. It would fight back if it didn't want to be with you. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help, just as it needs us. Still just a box, after all. Do you want it back? Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way. Prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. Okay. So, uh, since we're here... Like I said, I feel like we killed all the witnesses to our massive murder spree, but since we have time to kill uh, before the day is out, I think we might sneak back out and start finishing off uh, a lot of the other goblins here. We can farm a bunch more experience. I mean, it was very strong. Uh, we, we gained a lot of experience very quickly with all, those, all the battles that we did. So I think we will head back out and investigate the outer part of the camp, make sure we collect all the experience, treasure, etc., that we can find out here. And then we do need to head back down to get to the temple beneath where the Night Song is, because we want to find that for sure, before we head to these Moonrise Towers. So let's, uh, let's head out. Now, I'm not sure exactly where we're going to run into some goblins who are still alive, but uh, let's at least cross the bridge here. I know there's one dude... There was one dude up here. And maybe we should start sneaking around. And see if we can get the drop on somebody up here. Now, we know we can climb that, and he's up there. But we'd have to make this jump, and that can be tricky. Uh, one other thing I thought about. Uh, Tava here can concentrate on dancing lights. And then... So we'll just cast that before we get into any kind of a fight, and then she'll have that that she'll be concentrating on uh, in case we want to use that special Illithid ability, which I, d I haven't had a chance to try yet. Um, so... Let's... Jump these guys up here one at a time. 
Now, is that guy up there? I still, like, we can't, can't actually see him. Attention. What a day. Can't afford to stay idle. Now, I wonder if they're still here or if they've been driven off by the fact that, um, their leaders have been killed. Let me, this went really wrong last time, so I'm just going to make a save just in case. Our best stealthy, stealthy one is you. Let's have you hide and climb up and see what you see. Oh, he has to get all the way up here. Okay, yeah, he's right there. Uh, what happened? Oh, interesting. The rest of them did go into combat. Okay, so I guess somebody saw the rest of them and now we're going to fight. So we might as well... Uh, I guess climb this. And then try for the sneak attack. Okay. Uh, let's have you bonus action hide. Or, no, cunning action hide. Oh, it's not your turn. Okay. So the rest of them, I guess, noticed us. Who are we actually fighting here? Okay, the front gate guys. We've got Small Claw, Claw, Warrior Puce, Sentinel Oak, and Tracker Ball. I don't know how they saw us. Because these three are around the corner, and Astarian was hiding? So, I'm not sure what we do here. I guess we come up here and hide. Better to hide than fight sometimes. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how they saw us. Well, what, whatever. It's fine. I was going to come fight them anyway. Okay, I don't think she's hidden. Uh, let's see. Who have we got here? Let's have you climb this. And now can you hit this guy? Yep, okay. 11 damage. Second attack. And do we want to rage here or... Hmm. Probably, right? There's a, Yeah, there's enough stuff going on that we probably do want to use. And we have, what, three rages? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you only have a bonus action, so let's kind of... Nope. Well, somehow you succeeded. Okay. Another fight. Let's you climb up. And go after this guy here, I guess. Although, then you're... I don't know if they have ranged attacks or what, but... Yeah, not enough movement for that. So let's get up next to our girl. What path lies before me? And let's uh, make a ranged attack here. We're gonna have to do that on every... <laughs> every action here. Okay. I think we're good. These two can come try to get involved. I'll get the alarm. Well, I don't know if there's anybody left to join you when you hit the alarm, but that's fine. Okay, Shadow Hearts up. Uh, I don't think we need to do too much here. This doesn't seem like a particularly challenging combat. Maybe we'll just... Yeah, there we go. Just use a little bit of... Uh, use a little bit of a cantrip there, and then... I don't think we need a bonus action either. Let's let them come to us. Uh, ranged attack. They need 16, roll 19. Yeah, let's use this. Okay, that forced a miss. Okay, let's quickly sneak attack someone important, like maybe this thing. Nice, 22 to hit. Okay, let's have him come down here. Bonus action hide again. That's his turn. Uh, Carlock, we need you to hit somebody to maintain your rage, so you go there. Okay, he's dead. Can you get to her? You can. 
she's dead. Love that. Okay. Uh, I guess we end turn there. Now, who's left, actually? We've got these guys, those guys, and him. We could finish him, but I think we're better off doing some melee here. Think you can take me on. Uh, do we want to smite? I don't think so, not yet. We have, we have extra attack. Let's see if we can just kill him. We can. Okay, in turn. This is going very well. Claw's gonna dash, which means he's not gonna take an action. Okay, Shadow Heart's up. We do need to do something about them down there. Uh, let's have her come over here. And then... What do we want to do? 3 to 8 with her ranged attack versus... Well, what's her chance to hit? 75. 75% chance to hit versus... 65. Yeah, okay, let's do that. 3 damage? Alright, we'll take that. Uh, Alright, now you can come up here. I think. Can he see them down there? No, but he can probably... Where can he hit him from? I guess we'll just do this. Delicious. Yeah, he'll do it himself. Okay, very nice. 19 damage. Fantastic. Okay, cunning action hide. These three are all that's left, it seems. Uh, yeah, let's... What's he doing? Ranged and snaring snipe strike on Shadowheart? Uh, yeah, let's use our reaction to backlash him. That kills him. Fantastic. No, it doesn't kill him. All right. Well, she's up. Let's go after the runner here. Reckless. Yeah, she hit a nat one. Still missed. Second hit. There we go. 14. Very nice. Tava, you come in here, do some work. Second attack. Finishes, okay. So far, we haven't taken a single hit point of damage, I don't think. Oh, he used Armor of Agathis. That's a good play on his part. But he's concentrating, so now we can use our special Illithid thing on him. Uh, let's go to Tava and have her use... Oh, she... Did she lose con... She did lose concentration. Oh, that's a shame. Um, if we hit him, we're going to take damage from Armor of Agathis. So, what we want to do is maybe... Can we jump up here? We can. Look at her go. And then just do some ranged attacks. He saved on that, but we can hit him again. Damn, level 5 is strong, y'all. Level 5 is strong. We didn't use a single resource in that fight. That was amazing. Oh, no, we used one of Karlok's rages. Okay, well, that seems like a really good place to uh, end the episode. So we had our long rest. Uh, we found Halsen back in the drove. We saw... Koga get exiled. Once she leaves the grove, we can hunt her down and give her uh, the punishment that our Oath of Vengeance requires. And we've set up for another strong day of adventuring with our dope-ass party, who are all level 5 now. And we had a fantastic opener combat here against this small group of gate guards. So, yeah. Really excited to continue onwards. We're going to have more combat next time as we continue clearing the camp and then the Shattered Ruins and make our way down to find this Night Song thing. Uh, one other thing I've been thinking about is we do have that iron flask we found, which I thought we were going to use to capture people, but now I think there's something inside it, which the wizard wants. So we might set that free and see if what, what happens there. It could be a prisoner, could be a horrible demon that we have to fight. Either way, could be fun and entertaining, so we'll try that, I think, at some point. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to take a break. We'll be back next time with more Baldur's Gate 3. Until then, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.